Well, that was a lovely way to end the school drive with some lions and Taylor Mac giving them a really good show on that side of the world. So welcome to all of our regular viewers. And remember, now you can send your questions through to hashtag Safari Live or YouTube chat should you want to. Now, sitting in that tree over there is a bird and a kingfisher that we don't see that often. It is a migratory species, so it's an intra-Africa migrant, which means that it does go northwards towards the equator. And it is a grey headed kingfisher. Now grey headed kingfishers are not the most common kingfisher out here. In fact they're quite difficult to find and very difficult to get onto camera. We don't get them that often but they love areas like this. This would be a common place that you would find them nesting along the banks of a riverbed. These are the places that they would like to be. You can see the grey head just kind of being highlighted by the sun. It's very far away at the moment. You can see it's just a dot in the distance so I'm going to try and see if I can get a little bit closer so that we can see some of the colors. If it flies away, well then I'll show you in the book exactly what it looks like. So let's just try and get a little closer. Now, unfortunately my signal might break up a little bit so I do apologize if this happens but it's just it's so far for Senzo to try and focus that it's very difficult and also we can't get too much of the color and the detail on this bird if I'm that far away. So let's see. Oh no, it flew. Oopsie. I was hoping it would be a little more sort of relaxed than what it was and unfortunately it's ended up going away. But I'll show you in the book anyway just so you guys can see what this bird looks like. It's this individual here at the bottom so it's got this beautiful grey head hence the name grey headed kingfisher with a little white eye stripe over the top nice big bright red bull and then this rusty sort of orange color or chestnut as they describe it on the belly area with blue wings and a blue tail and when they fly you see a lot of the chestnut under the wings and it really is one of the easier kingfishers to ID in this area none of them really have that coloration except for these guys 